Solar Cannabis Co. is an off-the-grid cannabis producer in Massachusetts. We grow cannabis, we sell cannabis through our dispensary, and we wholesale to other dispensaries. All the power we make here on site, we use on premises, and we don't take power from the grid. My name is Edward Dow, I'm the CEO at Solar Cannabis Co. So I founded this about three and a half years ago and I ended up stumbling across this property. There was a number of existing solar arrays here. So our mission is to produce cannabis as sustainably as possible. So with the smallest carbon footprint we can possibly make cannabis with. Energy independence means we operate in what's called island mode. All the power we generate on site, we use on site. So we generate it more efficiently. We're not transporting it down power lines and transmission lines. Everything we create here power-wise, we use on site here. The energy needed to make any of these plants grow inside is really astronomical when you look at the, at the data. This facility, we make enough power here to power, say, 5,000 homes. So it, it's really important for us to minimize the carbon footprint any way we can. And that, that's core to everything we do. The lighting for our facility was a tough earned decision for us. So originally, capital-wise, we were looking at HPS lights to start or CMH lights. We ended up realizing that because of the effects it had on the design out the gate, it made sense to make the extra capital available and go with a tried and true tested LED. I've had some really bad LED experiences. My grower had as well. So we ended up settling on Fluence. We got offered a deal through Urban Grow that made it a really attractive deal for us. We couldn't afford LED lights without the help at the time. We're so glad we went that route. They've been working out great for us. The whole design of the whole facility changed just by incorporating LED lights out of the outset. We ended up going with Fluence um, for a few different reasons. Fluence LEDs throw a lot less heat. It allows us to do three tiers. With HPS lights, you would need another foot of clearance on the canopy. The quality is extremely high. Again, we've been able to hit some really high THC numbers, really high terpene levels, really minimal bleaching, and the quality's been through the roof. The way that we're set up here is to um, do a harvest about every three weeks. Sometimes it's a little bit more right now, but as we bring more grow rooms on, it'll be a harvest every week. Here's our Afghani skunk, another heavy hitter on THC, um, really full canopy, vigorous growth. We've seen really high yields under the fluence lights. Over here, we have our uh, strain called Lifehack, bred by Compound Genetics. Really just starting to finish up. A high terpene profile, uh, high 20s on the THC for this strain. Up here, we have Cherry Punch. Uh, it's bred by Symbiotic Genetics out of California. Definitely one of our heaviest hitters. We hit 33% THC on that strain. Super high terpene profile. chose the Fluence LED lights, but that lowered our whole energy profile uh, as far as energy requirements to the lights. And then that lowered our whole cooling profile thereafter. So our, all our HVAC systems got smaller. We basically designed a much more efficient operation out of the get-go by using modern technology in our grow. We incorporated all that technology specifically to save energy. And that's why the utility companies gave us the benefits on the back end. Cumulative total, we got about 1.1 million in rebates to date. LEDs are definitely the way of the future. As the market plateaus and energy costs are really high, um, being off the grid allows us to be more profitable. But ultimately, it's, it's the future of indoor cultivation. Fluence has been a great company to work with. They have, in my opinion, the best light on the market. Their customer service is awesome. Anytime we have an issue, it's, it's resolved, you know, next day. My grower loves working with them. They're better for our heat load, and I don't see any reason why anyone would go back to high-pressure sodiums, in my opinion. <laughs>